Hello and welcome. Probability distribution, a new case. And that is, obtain probability distribution of number of sixes in two tosses of a die. Hence, obtain its mean and variance. Okay. Now, first of all, what is the case? Two tosses of a die. That means a cubical die is tossed two times. That means there are two trials. And success is to get six. Now, where there are two or more trials, we always solve the problem through the constant probability of the target event in all the trials. Here, the target event is to get six. Target event means success. Getting a six on tossing a die any number of times, the probability remains one by six every time. That is constant probability. Similarly, probability of not getting 6, that means failure, also remains constant and that is any number out of these 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that is failure, so it remains 5 by 6 every time. Now, if we target getting 6, what exactly is possible if we really toss a die two times? The first possibility is no 6 appears, that means in both the cases there will be failure, failure in first trial and failure in second. Another is... 6 appears only once, either in the first trial or in the second trial. So the case is success and failure or, and, uh, sorry, or failure and success. And the third possibility is 6 appears in both the trials or both the doses. That means success in first trial and success in second. In this particular way, we can calculate. Since there are only two trials, we can never have more than two sixes and we can never have less than zero sixes. So there are three mutually exclusive and exhaustive outcomes of this experiment. No 6, x equals to 0, 1 6, x equals to 1 and all the two 6s, x equals to 2 where x represents the random variable of getting number of 6s. Let us calculate the probability. P of 0 will be failure in first trial and failure in second. So probability will be 5 by 6 into 5 by 6. That will be 25 by 36. Probability of 1. In how many ways it is possible? In two mutually exclusive ways it is possible. Success in first trial and failure in second. Or failure in first trial and success in second. So it will be 1 by 6 into 5 by 6. Plus 5 by 6 into 1 by 6. That is 5 by 36 plus 5 by 36 ultimately the probability of 1 6 is 10 by 36 now 6 2 times success in first trial and success in second so 1 by 6 into 1 by 6 that is 1 by 36 25 plus 10, 35 plus 1, 36. 36 by 36 equals to 1. The summation of the probability of the three possible outcomes is 1. That means these three are mutually exclusive and exhaustive outcomes. And in case of a probability distribution, the random variable is made up of all possible mutually exclusive and exhaustive outcome of the experiment. Now the probability distribution of number of 6s. That is 0, 1, 2 respective probability are, probabilities are 25 by 36, 10 by 36, 1 by 36. So total comes to 1. Now x into p of x, 0 into anything is 0. 1 into 10 by 36 is 10 by 36. 2 into 1 by 36 is 2 by 36. Summation is 12 by 36. This is expected value of x or e of x. To calculate variance, we also need x square into p of x. x square into p of x means x into x into p of x. 0 into 0, 0. 1 into 10 by 36 is 10 by 36. 2 into 2 by 36 is 4 by 36. So it comes to 14 by 36. This is sigma x square into p of x. That is e of x square. Now we can calculate mean, variance, standard deviation, anything. And that will be mean. 
equals to e of x that is 12 by 36 that is 1 by 3 first variance it is e of x square minus e of x the whole square and that will be 14 by 36 minus 1 by 3 the whole square that is 14 by 36 minus 1 by 9 let us take 36 as LCM 36 divided by 36 is 1 into 14 is 14 minus 36 by 9 is 4 4 into 1 4 so it comes to 10 by 36 or 5 by 18 the variance comes to 5 by 18 and its square root will be the standard deviation standard deviation equals to under root variance and that will be under root 5 by 18 if you are interested you can simplify the result through the use of calculator that's it